Oh my god. We are officially cleaning out the closet. There's so many options. This is your sign to romanticize your life. I need to figure out the best organization situation for belts. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Hey guys, I've missed you so much. Welcome back to the channel. A few things, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Um, to me and my podcast, Pretty Basic. And... <coughs> Comment, get well wishes. <laughs> Woo! I'm hoping this video just gives you a little motivation if you have been putting off cleaning out your closet, organizing your closet. My guilty pleasure is watching videos like this. Closet makeover, closet clean out, and I think it's because it makes me feel like I'm being productive. So I'm hoping this video does that for you and it doesn't take you like six months to do it the way that it took me that long, which you will notice because I have red hair in half of these clips. I think I wanna do more organizing videos. It just takes me a long time to get it done because I have ADHD and I can't sit still and do a task in one thing for anything. Like this video for more organization video. I'm like, not that I wanna be a whole organization channel, but I just, it's something I desperately need in my life. I don't even remember when this started. I think it's almost eight years since I moved into this house. That's crazy. If you watch the vlogs, you've probably kept up a little bit, but if you're new, try to keep up a lot's changed. Ash and I moved into this house at the top of 2017, and when we first moved in, her room was this room. This room was obviously my room. It stayed that way for a little bit, and then a few years later, we had a friend live with us. If you remember my back to school videos, uh, I had a whole separate office studio set where I had the lockers and all of that amazing back to school stuff. And then we also had a guest room. Then over time, we got another roommate, which was Taryn, so it was us three living here for a while, and we still had a guest room, but I didn't have that office studio space like I used to. Then a few more years later, we had another roommate come in during 2020, which was TK, and it was four of us living here and it was so fun. We each had our bedroom. Then after six months, TK moved out and I ended up making that room a more of a glam room closet studio space so I could film videos. And then a few months later after that, Tara moved out. And then about a year ago, Ashley came to me and said, hey, you know what? I think I also want to experience living on my own. So um, bye. I was like, damn, y'all can just say I'm like a bad roommate or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Then since I was here all by myself, I figured I would change some things up and I ended up moving the extra studio room to this current room, which was Ashley's old bedroom. But before it was Ashley's old bedroom, it was the back to school studio set. And that was my full circle moment of this room. <laughs> then to make it even funnier, Ashley ended up saying she wanted to move back in. So I'll move in at your place. Can't get rid of me. So Ashley now lives here again, but because now her bedroom is now my new studio closet, now she's back in her old room. I'll do a house tour. I'll do a house tour soon, which will make more sense. But again, watch the vlogs if you want the full behind the scenes of it all. I think what's best is we just go back to some of the earliest footage I have of this whole room transformation. So first step, we, uh, we gotta go through every piece of clothing that I own. Today's the day that I've been dreading. We are going to go through all of the clothes um, and figure out what is sellable, what is donatable. Um, what is just straight up trash that should n no one else should ever have. <laughs> I really want to be brutal because I know I'm going to want to keep stuff, but I'm like, Alicia, someone else would want this, whether it's a friend, whether it's like one of you guys, whether it's someone else. So even though I'm like, oh, like this is cute. I'm like, you know what? Let's just get rid of it. I really feel like someone else would enjoy some of these pieces because a lot of things are just sitting in my closet right now. So let's figure out what, what we're doing. I figured I would bring you guys along to the process of how I declutter my closet. First, we gotta ask ourselves some questions. One, have I worn this in the past year? Two, does this have a stain on it? And if it does, Alicia, throw it away. Like, Alicia, just throw it away. Does it fit you anymore? Obviously, there's some exceptions. Not there actually being popcorn in here from me going to the movies. <laughs> Let me clean that up. You figure out the best organization situation for belts. I'm wondering if I wanna put them in a drawer or hang them. I know you can get like hangers for them, but that is something. Belts is one of those things I feel like I always constantly forget to even wear because like if I don't see it, I just will, like it doesn't exist in my mind if I don't see it. Um, trash. Trash. Also, I have so many of these 
these cords. Oh my God, gift card. $25. Alfred. I was initially thinking of having my vanity in the middle of this room because I just I feel like I've seen people have closets like that I'm just so aware that that is so not practical because you lose so much space I feel like I have to be a little more practical and have this against the wall But I'm gonna have everything linked as far as like the vanity um, the clothing racks that we use as always affiliate links in the description box I feel like we're halfway once we get the Ikea Closet system then we'll almost be done. First things first, we got to measure. We got to measure. Okay, don't forget this, don't forget this. Ceiling, okay. And the height is at, so we'll say 8'3". Dude, imagine dating someone 8'3". I'm gonna say you're gonna start bringing that once men start coming through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my neck would hurt. Anyway, <laughs> it really doesn't matter here, but let's just for shits and giggles. Ashley literally moved out in October and this is still here. I'm like, don't you need whatever this is? <laughs> Four feet, 12 and a half, 8.5, 8.3. Okay. All right, need the design. <laughs> All right, honestly, there's so many options. Last time I just fully custom built it. Whoa. I love her. They have a lot of pre-made ones, which it could be cool to have the corners, but I'm thinking if this entire wall is just closet with doors, as much as I don't want to have doors, I know it'll look so much more clean if I can just close the mess. I really, really want the gloss doors, but I'm worried with filming in here, the ring lights are just going to reflect off of it and I'm going to hate that, but that's what I want. I feel like it's so pretty. Or we can just go plain white. And if we do for handles, we can do like silver. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like the whole thing. I kind of like the look of that. Honestly, this is kind of the look I'm going for. I want it just to be clean. I'm definitely trying to think timeless because I want me to like this in a few years. This is something I've had for so long. When am I gonna wear it? Other than like a music festival or like some, or Halloween or something, right? But I guarantee if I got rid of this belt, next week there's gonna be some reason why I need it. I know, I'm like, what, what, a superhero themed something? I don't know, like, I don't know. Yes, I already turned 30, but I don't wanna throw it away because I have friends who are turning 30 soon and then why should, like, we should save it, you know? But why is it in, why is it in here? I, like when have I worn these sunglasses? But what if I need them? I'm usually really good at doing a huge closet clean out every single year, but last year I didn't do it. And then the year before was the last time I did a big one. And I filmed that, that was with Parker. Um, she styles me sometimes and she's amazing, but I love her. So we filmed that video, go watch it. I'll have it linked below. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wait. Rosie, how'd you get up here? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, they're taking a quick break, so I wanted to come in and peek. Closet update, it's looking really good. I'm so excited, you guys. I feel like it's gonna be so good. I do think this is gonna take a minute because there's just so many parts, but it's gonna go here and then all along here. It's gonna make the room a little smaller, but I think it's gonna definitely be absolutely game changing. We're interrupting the video for an organizational haul. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little impatient because the closet's not fully done, but I'm just got excited to like buy this stuff that like helps everything to organize. The first thing I got are these little dividers that you can just put on a shelf and it helps. You can put like purses or honestly, you could literally do anything that you want. I got these cause I have a lot of bags and I'm really hoping that they're just organized and pretty and just easy to get to. These are extra nice if bags don't have any shape to them and they're just kind of like flimsy cause they can still be upright without, you know, being a mess. The next thing I'm really excited and I'm, I hope it works. These are like the, the purse stands that you basically see in stores where it's displaying the bag where it just like hangs and stuff. I think I did it. But the whole point is you can like, I got it. That's so cute. I really wanted this room to fill like a store and I feel like this perfectly gives that vibe. And that way it's like fun to pick out your outfit and stuff. I feel like that's so cute. Like romanticize your life. Then I also got the, I, I'm definitely still the most excited about the purse hook, but this is a close contender. These are, okay. 
These are perfect if you're a boot girl like me. I love my boots. I love my knee high boots, my thigh high boots, my ankle boot. Actually, I'm not a big ankle boot fan, but I love my knee high boots. <laughs> These are stuffers and you just basically put them in your boots so that way they stand straight up. I feel like this is gonna be one of the small little things that actually have a huge difference in the way that I get dressed. You literally just take it and then I'm sorry, like I want this to look like a store. And these are so cheap, they're literally so cheap. This is your sign to romanticize your life and make your closet feel like a store because you know, it's the little things and it's self-care. <laughs> these bad boys, honestly, I feel like I'm gonna use half of them in my bathroom too, but I just got a, like a literal 72 piece count of clear containers like this to help organize stuff. I really do think it'll help too with like belts. I really am such a visual person and I think that's why I need to get organized because if I don't see something, it's out of my head and I don't own it. Like I will forget that I own things and I'm really hoping to have everything just displayed so that way, I don't know, like I can see all my belts in one area and that way they're not just like hidden. So we got that. Closet organization and clean out is officially done. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do wanna do a full like official closet tour once I get everything perfectly decorated, but that'll obviously be a whole other video. Like this video if you made it to the end and if you did make it to the end, comment below a clothing item emoji. Any of your choice, it could be the boot, it could be some sunglasses, it could be the shirt, it could literally be whatever you want. Hopefully this motivated you to also clean out your closet that you've been putting off because that was me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you uh, really soon with a new video. I love you. Mwah.